Hello and welcome to my first ever Dreamcast review. That's right, finally bought a Dreamcast, wanted one for years, my little brother had one but it was back in the fears when he wasn't really sharing or anything, which, you know, kids at that age, he's there, thankfully matured now. Um, so he always had one, I always wanted to play it, the most I ever got was about 40 minutes on Sonic Adventure 2 when I was testing the machine for him because it was a Christmas gift, but... It's one of those, it's just basically been on my list to always get a Dreamcast because I wanted it so much. So, finally got one for my birthday and uh, went out and bought a hell of a lot of games including this one which uh, it cost me a fortune which most likely means it'll be coming out as a HD remake very soon with 4 player support, dual analogue support and it'll be about £8 to download because that tends to be the way my life works. But if I'm honest, I think it's worth the price I paid for it because it's absolutely fantastic. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Cannon Spike. At the start you get a, diff a choice of seven different difficulty levels. You can then go to your options where you can choose your sound, stereo or mono, choose the vibration on, you can go to controller and you can view different control methods, you can look at the sensitivity for your left and right trigger. Um, the standard setup for the buttons is uh, actually quite good, I'm quite happy with them so I just leave them be but you can change them if you want to. Um, you can then go into your gallery which uh, you can view sketches and things like that there as you unlock and play them. So after you've had a hefty play session on the game make sure you go to save because it's not auto save. At least I'm pretty sure it's not auto save, I do it, I, uh, regardless I do it every time just in case. So, game start, seeing as I'm going to get my butt whooped anyway from too busy talking, I'm just going to go on Baby. Uh, there's seven characters, which I'll have to be quick. There's Mega Man, Baby, Hood, Simone, Kami, Sheba, Arthur and Charlie. Um, he's from Three Wonders, I believe. Charlie and Kami are from Street Fighter. Arthur's from Girls and Ghosts. He's from Mega Man. She's from Darkstalkers. And Simone was created purely for Cannon Spike. She is unique to this game. Um, each of the characters play slightly differently. I actually don't like how Baby Hood plays because I find her a little floaty with the controls um, with movement, but they've all got unique special powers and different attacks. Um, you've basically got four different attacks. To be fair, technically you've got five different attacks. Um, you've got your fire button, which is this. You've then got your advanced fire button, which is like a power attack. You've then got two separate melee attacks, although for Baby Hood it's actually throwing bombs, which uh, isn't really melee. You've then got your super mega attack, which uh, the S diamonds underneath the energy bar in the top left, that's what they are, that's what fuels them. Um, you go through the game and there's ten stages overall and pretty much every stage has two sections to it. You fight a sub-end boss and then an end of level boss. and the stages are based and designed around different Capcom games, so you will fight different characters. There you'll have just seen this fight in Vega, who they actually called Balrog, and they called him Balrog because it's based on the Japanese version of the arcade game, and I'm not going to go into that, but basically Google Street Fighter and you'll see why they had to change uh, a few of the names. Um, Gameplay-wise, I actually think it's fantastic and it does a really good job of being a dual analog shooter without a second analog because obviously the Dreamcast never had a second analog so instead you move around with the left analog and then you push fire and you're locked in that direction so you can just strafe around. However, once you're in this direction you can then push the right trigger and lock onto the nearest enemy. So say I want to strafe around and follow an enemy, uh, I'm probably best off showing this one the boss is on because the enemies are dying although there we go. I've locked onto the Cerberus, I'm moving just like as if I had dual analog. It does work well, it's not perfect, and that's why I'm saying watch this, they'll now re-release it. And to be honest, if they did re-release it, I'd buy it, especially if they added 4-player support and dual analog support, because the game is amazing fun in 2-player, and I can only assume it'd be better in 4-player. It might make very hard actually beatable. Um, Gameplay-wise, though, you've got a few things you can get. You've probably seen us already collecting S's, which, again, just stock up your superpower there. The capsules, your energy. You can then get boxes, which actually increase your energy bar. Um, and I believe that's it. I'm, I've got the nagging feeling that I forgot something. Something. Uh, I, either way, I'm, if there is a fourth item, then I honestly can't remember at this moment in time, but I don't think there is, which is probably why I'm forgetting it, because uh, it doesn't exist. Anyway, moving on swiftly. 
Um, graphically, the game looks absolutely fantastic. Musically, it sounds great, so I will let you listen to a little bit. And gameplay-wise, the missions aren't huge, but they're decent length and it's very replayable. So even though there's only 10 missions, it is the type of thing that hell in the same day uh, must have beat about 25 stages because I was just having a blast with um, The stages also randomise a little bit as well, so you won't always get them in the same order, bar a few that have to be in the same order. Um, you also only get three credits, is probably the other thing I should have mentioned, so when you're playing, well to be fair, four credits including the one that you've got, which is basically four lives, so when you play two player, it's two lives each, however, if one player is much better than the other and doesn't die, then it's one life and three lives for the other guy. Um, that is pretty much all I can think of to say though, so I will just shut up now and let you listen to a bit of the music while I swap over to Mega Man. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212. Signing off.